Okay, so the first uh, question that we often get asked is when, when is the right time for a knee replacement uh, when, when you have osteoarthritis of the knee? Um, so the, the answer I always give to people is when, it, when the knee becomes painful enough that, that you can't manage. Um, so we look at x-rays, we look at how people walk and we look at the shape of the knee and the movement in the knee, but ultimately it boils down to when it's painful enough to, to warrant an operation. Um, the knee replacement can be a big, operation and the different people at that, that pain level is or the pain levels they can manage can be very different so we see plenty of people who have horrible looking x-rays who have little pain and can manage to do all the things they want to do and um, equally there are plenty of people who have relatively much better x-rays but have terrible pain and they, they will uh, they will have knee replacement much much sooner than than others The main determinant of that it really is that the amount of arthritis that the people have in the knee. Um, so in general, the knee can be divided into three areas, the, the area behind the kneecap, the area on the inside and the area on the outside of the knee. Now, if only one of those areas is affected, then we can, we can usually proceed with a partial knee replacement. However, if two or more are affected, then we, we tend to move on to a full knee replacement. Sometimes um, age may, may play a part. For example, if we have a very young patient um, who we're trying to preserve as much as possible in the knee for as long as possible, then we might try and uh, lean towards a partial knee replacement when we otherwise uh, may, may be slightly more reluctant. It certainly is a major operation for those undergoing it. Many, much, many people never have had surgery before or an intervention and in, in any operation is, is a, a thing that people can be concerned about and is a big deal to that individual. Um, for us, it is a fairly routine operation and for example, I will perform between 50 and 100 knee replacements in a year. Um, but that shouldn't belittle the impact it has on people. It, it, is, a, it is surgery ultimately that, that um, can affect how people walk and is affecting one of the major weight bearing joints of the, of the body. Um, ideally, we want to do that as quickly and as safely as possible. And generally, a knee replacement will take about an hour. It really depends on how fit they are for surgery. Someone who is very fit and active um, can have surgery within two weeks of, uh, of having the first consultation. Um, other people might need other, other investigations or work up to be done. Um, and, and in that case, things may take a little bit longer. So ultimately there are different areas that, um, that are charged for. So the, the easiest bit to see is the cost of the expertise that, that you're getting. That will be the surgical cost. So that, that will be the surgical cost and the anaesthetic cost. Um, but then the, ho the, the hospital that you are being treated in will also um, essentially provide, a, 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 will, will charge for their services. And this will be, this will include the implants that, um, the, the implants that are, that are put into the knee uh, and will also include the time, time spent in, in the hospital and the, the bed and the cost of providing a safe environment to work in and to be treated in. Significant, but thankfully fairly rare. Uh, the main risks that, that, that we worry about are things such as infection, which usually affects less than 1% of, um, of people who have knee replacement surgery. However, if a, a knee, an infection in a knee replacement can be a, a major issue and can require much more treatment, and much longer treatment and result in a, in, a knee, in a knee replacement that we're not really happy with either surgically or, or as a patient. Um, there can be some damage to nerves or blood vessels in the area and the, the most common complaint is that a, a feeling of numbness on the outside of the knee um, just out on the outside of where the scar is. It's rare to have a major uh, bleeding complication because we tend to use a tourniquet for knee replacement surgery and so the blood loss doesn't tend to result in anything too significant, um, but occasionally people do need blood transfusions after surgery. One of the things we worry about is um, blood clots. 
Uh, and this is really related to the mobility levels afterwards. So the safest thing to do is to get you up and active uh, straight away after the knee replacement, and that can minimize the risk of blood clots. Um, the current, current guidelines are that we give you aspirin for, for two weeks afterwards to try and re reduce the risk of blood clots. And if you're at higher risk, you might even need um, either injections or other tablets that can thin the blood a little bit. There are longer term risks, obviously, that, that when you have a knee replacement, you are replacing um, natural materials that, that in the body, such as bone and cartilage, with man-made materials like metal and plastic. Um, and as with all man-made materials, these don't last forever. And just as washing machines or cars might need to be, uh, might need to have parts replaced after a certain number of, uh, of years or time, the same is true of a knee replacement. And in general, we would expect a knee replacement to last for a minimum of 10 years. Um, and after that, uh, it can be fairly variable. Having said all that, a, a knee replacement is a, is a great operation for improving quality of life. Um, it generally leads to a significant reduction in pain. Um, and 80% of people will report that all their pain is, is, is gone and, and improved such that they can get back to the things they want to do. Um, some people will still, uh, will still have a, a great benefit, um, but may not have quite the, quite the function they expect to have um, or, have, or get back to some of the activities that they wish to do, but their pain will be much improved. Thankfully, it's very rare that people still struggle with, with knee replacements, even after surgery, and, and that, the number of people who, who struggle afterwards is around 5 to 10%. 